video, we're going to talk about a very specific function of your TI Inspire called Polar Roots. This function, what is going to help you is to find the roots of a trinomial. So we're going to get straight to it. First of all, you need to remember that for you to use this function, you have to go and open a calculator page. So let's open our calculator page. Here we go. And we have a first example. It is 3x to the second power minus 10x plus 3. So what we have to do, there are several ways to do it, but this is, in my opinion, the safest. We're going to go to Menu. We're going to go to Algebra. And then we're going to select the third option, Polynomial Roots. And right there, we're going to select the first option, Find Roots of Polynomial. Now, the degree... The example that we have is uh, has an x to the second power, so it's a second degree. In roots, we always, at least in Algebra 1, want to find real roots. I'm going to put OK. This is telling you the form in which your trinomial has to be. It has to be equal to 0. a2 represents the coefficient of x squared, a1 the coefficient of x, and a0 is the number or the constant along. So in our case, our coefficient for x to the second power is a 3. So right here we put a 3. Our coefficient for x is negative 10. Notice how this is a plus, so you have to put the negative. And our last, our constant, it is a 3 or plus 3, however you want to see it. We press OK. And this is what is going to appear. You don't have to worry about that. That is only the command for the calculator to work. After that, we're just going to press enter. And here I have my roots. These are not the factors, these are the roots. After using our TA Inspire, we found out that our roots are x equals 3 and x equals 1 third. This result came straight from the calculator, but I'm going to show you right now how can you turn them into factors, okay? So the first thing we're going to start with the premise that we found out that x equals 3. For you to find your factor, you need to remember that this, you have to make it equal to 0. How are you going to do that? Well, very simple. I cancel my 3 by doing negative 3 and negative 3 on the other side which tells me that this 2 will cancel and x minus 3 will stay like that. They are unlike terms. We cannot uh, combine them. So this is my first factor. I'm going to do exactly the same with the second one. x equals 1 third. It's just that in this time, for us to make this equal to 0 is going to take a little more time. First of all, let's start by canceling this 3 right here. That 3 is dividing, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by multiplying times 3 both sides. So 3 dividing, 3 multiplying, they cancel each other. And on the other side, we have 3 times x, so this is going to give me 3x equals, and I still have a 1 here. And now I need to cancel the 1 a lot easier because all that I have to do is negative 1 and negative 1. After doing that, this 1 and this negative 1, they cancel. And then 3x minus 1, they're not like terms. So they're going to stay like that, 3x minus 1. And this will be my second factor. So the factorization of this trinomial is this. Okay, now we're going to look at a second example. So let's go step by step again. First, we do menu, algebra, polynomial tools, and find roots of polynomials. We still have a second degree, and my roots are still, that I'm looking for, are still real. So in this case, I have x squared plus 4x plus 4. The number or coefficient for x squared is 1 because it's just an x squared. The coefficient for x is 4 and my constant is 4. Okay, 
and we just press enter again. In this case, you see how we have the same number repeated? This is because this polynomial happens to have only one root. So it might still have two factors, but it's still one root, but it's listed twice. So you haven't done anything wrong. Every time you have one root, this is the way that it's going to show it. I want to do one more example, a third example. This third example is x squared plus 2x plus 2. So again, menu, algebra, polynomial tools, find roots of polynomials. Second degree, roots are real. Okay. In this case, again, the coefficient for x squared is 1. Here, the coefficient for x is 2, and my constant is 2 as well. So, I'm going to put OK and press Enter. In this case, we have not done anything wrong in what appears. What the calculator or the T-inspire is trying to tell you is that this particular trinomial had it has no roots or no real roots. And every time that this occurs, this is the way that you're going to see. This means no real roots. I hope you find this very helpful.